Today we're going to be looking at similar and congruent polygons. Two polygons that have the same shape but not necessarily the same size are similar polygons. Congruent polygons are similar polygons that have the same shape and the same size. So it's important to note that polygons can be congruent even if they're rotated or flipped. So if I duplicate this triangle, I have two congruent triangles. Now if I enlarge it or make it smaller, they are congruent as long as the scale is the same. They are similar. So when it's the same exact size and the same shape and all of the dimensions and ratios are the same, the angles need to be the same, they're congruent. If I scale it down or enlarge it, meaning make it bigger, then it's now similar to the original. So let's look at an example of similar triangles. When we have similar triangles, it's important to look at the corresponding sides as well as the corresponding angles. So we have the angles BCA, for example, correspond to angle DFE or angle EFD. Angle ABC corresponds to angle DEF and angle BAC corresponds to angle EDF. We can see that these two triangles are similar. Now another thing that has to be true in order for them to be similar is that the corresponding sides or the ratios, they have to end up being the same fraction or the same ratio. So for example, if I were to label each of these, let's say this side was 6, this was 18, and 24 units. And this was 3, 9, and 12 units, I can look at the corresponding sides to see if when I compare them, and really you only need to pick two in order to tell, but we can actually compare all three to see if they're congruent as a, as a fraction. So we have side FD, which is 3, and we have side CA, which is 6 units. It needs to be the equivalent to EF, which is 9, and BC, which is 18, and equivalent to ED, which is 12, and BA, which is 24. And I can see that when I reduce each of these fractions, I get one half each time. So I know that triangle DEF is half of angle or triangle BC, BAC, or ABC. Let's look at another example. We have two sides that we can compare to see if these triangles are congruent or similar. Well, we know that they're not congruent. We can tell by looking at them that the measurements are different. We can see that the angles, however, appear to be the same. And then we can look at the dimensions. So corresponding sides we have AB, which is 10, and we have DE, which is 5. Then we have BC, which is 8, and EF, which is 4. 
Now it is important to make sure that you're lining up the triangles correctly, otherwise you might get an improper fraction. So we can see that when we reduce these, we get 2 over 1, which equals 2 over 1. So again, we have half the size of the original, and the dimensions are similar. These two triangles are similar. Let's look at another example. We have how tall is the tree if Susie is 5 feet tall. Now we have to figure out the comparison. Well, we can label Susie 5 feet, and we can see that this is a 90 degree angle, and these of course are going to be similar triangles because we have her at a 90 degree angle, and they share the same angle. So, these are going to be similar figures. Again, not the same. So we have a 6 foot shadow for Susie. If it makes you more comfortable, you can redraw the triangles for Susie, and then another one for the tree, and label it. So the tree standing 10 feet away casts, casts 10 plus 6, or a 16 foot shadow. Susie casts a 6 foot shadow. We know she's 5 feet tall, and we need to know oh, how tall is the tree. So we can set this up algebraically, and we'll have some ratios to compare. So when we set it up, we need to make sure we look at the corresponding sides. So we can start with 6 over 16. And if you want, you can reduce this if it makes you feel more comfortable, equals 5 over x. And again, we need to line up the triangles in order using cross products. We can have an algebra problem. We have 6x equals 80. Divide both sides by 6 and we would get x equals and 80 divided by 6 is actually going to be is actually going to be 13 and 1 third. So the tree is 13 and 1 third feet tall. So you're going to have a lot of problems dealing with congruent and similar figures, and we'll do some more examples along the way.